Hello, everyone. My name is Carrie Rosado. I'm the host of the podcast, The Divergent Changemakers, which is available on Spotify, Amazon, Apple Podcasts. Uh, I'm also the uh, founder and uh, DNI consultant for Divergent Consulting Group LLC. Uh, today, our guest is Norhan Ahmed. Uh, she'll be uh, sharing her expertise with us. Um, Norhan, can you go ahead and uh, introduce yourself, share a little bit more about your background and how you got involved in your line of work? Hi, everyone. My name is Narhan Ahmed, and I grew up in Bay Ridge, Brooklyn, in New York, and I was born to Egyptian parents, but I grew up in the United States. I'm a third culture kid, meaning that I share both the Arab and the American culture. I'm a poet, writer, community builder, speaker, and I'm also a mental health advocate. I worked in HR and the tech industry for five years. I am also starting my own women's organization called the Women X Network. Women X Network is an inclusive and powerful space for women X by providing equal access to opportunities, sharing knowledge, and amplifying their voices. And I joined this industry. So I joined people operations right out of college. I'd always enjoyed working with people, building systems, and making processes more efficient. And as for starting Women X Network, which we'll be launching in September 2021, I started this organization because there is a need for a women's organization in the market encompassing women's professionals at different stages in their careers and disciplines. The focus in this organization covers five categories of women in different levels in their professional career. And what ultimately motivated you to uh get into uh, this industry or line of work? Mm -hmm. Diversity, equity, inclusion is very important. It's always gonna be important and everyone should have their own, every single group should have its own access to opportunities. And so Women X Network is solving that. Because I started this organization because I felt that there was a need for a women's organization in the market to encompass all these different five categories. And these are the five categories. It's ex-women's professionals, WP, and those are the women who are mid-level to senior in their career in any field. Ex-creative, which are those in the creative field. So like UI, UX designers and graphic designers. SBO, which is small business owners ex-entrepreneur, which is women who have launched or want to launch startups, and ex-YWP, which is young women's professionals, and those who graduated college and are fairly new in their career. I just felt it's very important to have powerful, inclusive, and diverse communities because network is net, is net worth, and community is power. And I feel like having that support network makes a difference in someone's career. I remember feeling lost as I graduated college. I was like, I don't know how to network. I don't know what I'm doing. And I felt like I didn't have that support system. And so this, this organization is that support system. And it's, it, is, it is an inclusive and diverse support system and network. Thank you for highlighting that. Um, it's very true that when someone graduates from college, you do feel a little bit lost as far as, you know, how to network and build uh, you know, your network, um, it's oftentimes it's not something that's taught to you in, in college. I wish it was, <laughs> uh, but unfortunately it's something you have to navigate and learn um, as you grow in your career. So thank you for putting that out there and providing that support, especially for women. Um, I think that's definitely something we all need at different stages um, within our careers for sure. Can you share with us, um, um, what are, have been the best resources to have helped you along the way in your line of work? Definitely reading more books to nourish my mind and networking has helped me. And every time I talk about Women X Network with different leaders, such as yourself, Carrie, it only starts to validate that there's a strong need for it. Of course, there are other women's organizations that are focused on diversity and providing opportunity, but there's still a need for the support network I'm launching. So the best resource is people. The best resource is the network. The best resource is to, sometimes you have an idea and a passion project and you, you, you need to, sometimes you need to validate it by talking to other people, by figuring out like, what are, the, what are their pain points? Like it could just be a, a, a casual conversation and you're telling them about your idea and you're like, yeah, we really need that. And that kind of validates your idea. So the best resource is the network. Talk to people, get out of your shell, step out of your comfort zone. You need to put yourself out there. Otherwise you can't achieve the results that you want. I appreciate you, you mentioned uh, coming out of your shell, definitely in uh, diversity and inclusion, you have to be uh, 
you know, patient uh, to move mountains and make impact and change and definitely come out of your shell and, you know, work with uh, challenging uh, folks <laughs> who may be resistant to change. So definitely, um, I appreciate that. So thank you for all the work that you're currently doing. Um, what have been the lessons that you wish you had learned before starting in this industry? Looking back, what would you say? I think with anything, it's, I just wish I had started sooner. I feel that, I just wish I knew how to network with others more effectively. Then maybe I would have connected with the right mentor sooner who would have helped me on this journey. Knowing how to network well is a life skill and every professional should know like how to network. And I just, that's why I'm starting Women X Network because I just want to make sure that everyone, everyone who's any woman X or woman that's part of this organization knows how to network because that's how you get far in life. It's not just your experience, it's how you talk to people, how to talk to people, how to make the right connections and how to make sure that you're providing just as much value as you the, as you need from that person, whatever whatever the, the relationship is. So I just wish I had started sooner and I wish I had stepped out of my comfort zone sooner and not like defeated myself before I started. Thank you for sharing that. I think a lot of people can resonate with that. Most of us who have gone into entrepreneurship wish we had done it sooner, but everybody reaches that threshold where you're finally like, okay, ready to take that leap. And I'm glad you're doing it at such a young age. That's great. Thank you for sharing that. Um, so um, in your career, what have been the biggest challenges you faced and what did you learn from them or how did you overcome them? Imposter syndrome has been my biggest challenge. Sometimes we have passions, dreams, and goals we want to fulfill, but we feel that we are not qualified to do something. I don't believe that anymore. And I know that I am qualified and I am able to do whatever I set my mind to. If I didn't think I was capable, I wouldn't have those dreams. So really it's the it's those self-limiting beliefs. And like, sometimes you can find yourself like looking at how others have succeeded and think like they're overnight success. There's no such thing as an overnight success. They have also had to do the inner work. They have also had to done the work and they've also struggled and had their own adverse events to get to where they are. So don't, your chapter one, you can't compare your chapter one to someone's chapter 50. So just really like you have to always look at where you are and how, what, like you can't do something, you can't do something differently with the same mindset that defeated you before you started. So change your mindset, change your beliefs, know that you are capable as long as you put in the work and you know that you will struggle, but the payoff will be bit greater and bigger. Yes, thank you for highlighting imposter syndrome and mindset. Um, I think anyone at any point in their career, you could either be starting off in your new career or be a very seasoned professional and transitioning into something else. Um, everyone at some point does face that. And yes, it really does come down to that mindset and having that growth mindset, not a fixed one, because you want to continue to grow and improve. So definitely um, thank you for highlighting that as well. And um, is there any type of advice you would give to someone who wishes to pursue a similar career to yours? What would that be? I find that entrepreneurship in general is on the rise. I just want anyone that's listening to me now to know I don't always know what I'm doing. I don't always have all the information. I don't always have all the support. But, but build, your, build your network is number one. Collaborate with others know how to network because it's, again, it's very, very important. Do your research and do your research because you have to do your research on the market. You have to do your research on like, how can you lead your teams? Leading a team is, is a very important life skill. Leadership is a very important life skill. Also like the more knowledge you can acquire, even like anything, anything simple as like business psychology, you know, which is something I'm into now, like really knowing how, how people work and knowing your why. Why are you doing this? Why, why, why do you want to start this network? Why, why do you want to start this organization? Why do you want to start this podcast? What is your why? What is your end goal? What, what is going to, what is driving you? What is your ambition? What is your passion? So knowing all that is going to keep you going when you get those no's and you get those rejections and you feel like you can't do something or that bad day hits you. So really just believing in yourself, doing your research and collaborating with others is 100% that. Yeah, I appreciate you sharing that. I know it's important in order to stay motivated, you kind of have to be your own cheerleader and kind of like 
know how to keep yourself and keep that momentum going and uh, just pushing through any challenges you face. So thank you for that. Is there a myth you'd like to debunk as far as uh, within your uh, career space that you'd like to share? A myth that I would like to debunk. Let's yeah, see. so something that people believe that isn't necessarily true, you wanna correct them. You know what I realized recently, like just really putting myself out there and connecting with others and you don't, you don't need to have experience to start many things. You just need you just need to create opportunities for yourself to gain that credibility. And then you start to build your personal brand or your actual brand. The smartest person in the room is not the one with the most experience, but the one who makes the most out of their experiences. So learning from others and allow, allowing them to mentor you directly or indirectly. So like indirectly would be like, you see a post on LinkedIn and like, oh, this person like seems really, really cool. And I would love to follow them on LinkedIn or connect with them so I could see, stay up to date with their content. Or maybe it's heading into a clubhouse room and meeting someone that you didn't think could, could provide any assistance to you or is not in the same field as you. So really just knowing that experience is really just someone giving you the opportunity to do the work that, they, that you didn't have experience for from the beginning. They give you that opportunity, you get that experience, but you have to build your credibility beforehand. You have to be that passionate, ambitious person beforehand. Otherwise they won't give you the opportunity. You'll be passed up for that opportunity. Thank you. I, I do agree that definitely passion is important. Um, it definitely shows your commitment and conviction to what you, the work that you're doing and it will help you stand out. From others so definitely it will open doors for you so thank you for that um has there been anything that you have recently read or listened to that has really inspired you or motivated you that you'd like to share i'm currently reading jump by steve harvey and i find the book very inspiring he talks about taking a leap of faith jumping into the life you want he also talks about his own struggles in life and how he didn't let small obstacles get in the way. So like one story he shared was like he flunked out of like college and he felt so bad about it because all his buddies were in, all his friends were in college and they were so like in college and he had flunked out of it. I just feel like sometimes when things happen like it, it's like God trying to show you that's not your purpose. Maybe college isn't for you. And now he's this huge talk show host and it's just, it's it not saying that college is for, it, college is the end all be all. It's just that sometimes things happen and there's adverse events because God's trying to redirect you somewhere else. This isn't where you're supposed to be. So it's just, it's it's crazy. because like, sometimes I feel that when things happen to me, it's like, okay, maybe this is not where I'm supposed to go. Maybe I have to try something different, which is why it's not working out for me. So really be flexible with life. Don't think that this one path is gonna be your only path. You could take several paths. Life is a journey. Thank you for that. Um, I do agree definitely that um, seeing rejection as a positive because it's really um, either refinement or redirection. So definitely, and I appreciate yeah, you highlighting that because sometimes that can get us down um, and, but just seeing it as a positive for sure. So thank you for highlighting that. And I'll definitely take a look at the book, Jump. Okay, hadn't heard about that one yet. <laughs> Uh, which have been the most uh, influential individuals in your life? Can you name maybe up to three that you share with us? I definitely have more than three. So I'm going to say four. <laughs> um, definitely Lena Mendoza, which who, whom connected us and whom I met earlier, earlier this year. Well, this year, just recently. Melinda Kohler, uh, CEO of Lessons Up, has helped me a lot on my journey. And my friends, Abrar and Hanen, whom I got to be part of their organizations and have given me the space to come out of my shell and shine. And of course, like my close friend, Nick, who always takes that call when I really need to talk to someone and I really need that encouragement and I'm feeling down on myself. So uh, definitely all those people have been amazing to me. And it's just amazing. Like your circle is very important for your growth. Nobody realizes that. Even if you, it's not the number of people you have in your life, it's the quality. So really these people, these amazing women and my amazing friend, Nick Bruno has just been amazing in my life. <laughs> yes, I do agree. Um, when you're entering into entrepreneurship or actually any career that you set out to, uh, it is important to have that support system in place, kind of like your personal board of directors, people you can tap into for different resources that you may need. So I'm glad you've built that for yourself and it's very important. 
Are there any last words you'd like to share with the audience? Also, um, how they can stay in touch with you and learn more about the organization that you're building? Of course. Something I would like my audience to take from this episode and this podcast episode is don't self-reject and defeat yourself. Just because something will take time to build and it might be hard doesn't mean you won't get there. Start today and build slowly and the payoff will always be great. Also, success is more just more than just a certain number that you hit in sales or followers in your business. It can seem that way, but the real success is when you put your head on that pillow at night and smile knowing you made someone's life easier, better, or you made them stronger through your product or service. In the meantime, please follow uh, me on Instagram, uh, the organization at Woman X Network. So that's W O M X Network. Uh, and like our LinkedIn page at Women X Network and join our Facebook group as well. We will be launching our website in September 2021 and um, really connect with me on LinkedIn, uh, Norhan Ahmed. And I'm open to connection. I'm open to collaboration. And I'm just, you know, happy that I got to be here today. Thank you, Carrie. Well, thank you for being a guest uh, with us today, Norhan. It was definitely a pleasure learning more about you, your journey and your organization, how you're looking to support women um, throughout their entire careers. That's definitely something amazing. And I definitely look forward to checking out your website when it comes out. Um, as a reminder to our audiences, uh, be sure to uh, subscribe to our podcast, uh, which is available on Amazon, Spotify, and Google as well. Um, also encourage you to, um, if you're more of a visual learner, definitely check out our YouTube channel where you'll find our recordings for all the podcasts and also our most recent summit. So thank you so much for uh, joining us today. And that's it. Thanks.